Welcome everyone, today we are going to take a look into one of my articles regarding the Postgres SQL inside the local development using the Docker. So basically I will show you how like, the, the most useful commands inside command line uh, to set up your and to, to set up and to work with your database, uh, I mean Postgres database in this case for sure, and the most probably convenient way of doing this. I've been working as software engineer for five years. Now I'm software engineer at Microsoft and I had about five or six projects before that were using Postgres as database. And you like most usually get the corporate laptop and you would like to get your database up like this, the quickest way. So I've been encountering this scene from five to six times already. So yeah, let's start. Basically, I've already written it inside my article regarding the Postgres so you could just go through it copy paste everything you need and uh, actually use it but if you would like to watch it in live let's do this so before this let's drop everything that we been created before Okay, so now we have clean Docker, I would say. And actually, yes, we will use Docker because it's isolated. It has a lot of advantages on top of it. Uh, like I've listed them here. So most probably you will prefer to use Docker because like, you don't want to install it inside the operating system. Uh, it like what if you would like to have two Postgres three Postgres instance, what if you would like to have RapidMQ, it's still quicker to install it using Docker, it's more isolated and like a lot of advantages, you can read it, I can say Google, just Google it. So how to do this using the Docker, you have basically two ways of doing this. First one is just running a few commands inside the command line and you have your database up or just writing Docker Compose script and then Right, Docker Compose up, Docker Compose down, and manage everything inside the, using Docker Compose too, basically. So I will show you the first one first. Uh, first of all, what do we need? We need to create the volume, basically. Good. So we don't have any volume named like this. So we will create this from the scratch, boom, it is here, we've created volume, volume is basically the mapping from docker host to your operating system host, basically mapping from folders or mapping of the files, it depends, uh, there are few types of volumes inside docker, and after we've created this volume, we have some volume, some entity inside docker host, let's map it. To exact location inside our container container that we are going to create right now. So this command docker run will run the Postgres image. Uh, so basically, it it will create the container from the image called Postgres using the default port five four three two five four three four exposed to external world. So I can access it using my local host. It maps the PG data volume that we have created before to wirely Postgres data folder inside the container. Basically, this is mapping of your database of data to your operating system. So whenever you drop the container, your data will not be lost until the volume is present here. So, and we are creating the database using the default password and user. Let's do this. Okay, it starts downloading the uh, image first and then it, it will create the container. And basically, while my Docker is doing this, um, I also prefer using such tool like PG admin uh, because it's pretty much pretty convenient uh, UI for your Postgres, but it's not really necessary. Uh, you might omit it because as far as I know, there is Docker image for PG admin as well. So you could do two Docker setup, one for Postgres and second one for PG admin as UI for Postgres. But most usually you don't need it. Like it's 
used for some like actually you don't need it you 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 you, you might use only the cmd but for convenience you can use the pg admin it's a good ui and it's pretty light and easy to install by the way okay so we have our postgres instance up and now we can start testing our instance using the some commands and first command we would like to go inside the container let's do this okay we are inside container that's good and now psql is the command tool that is used for postgres manipulation inside it so we are connecting it inside the docker container trying to connect to localhost using the default port and here we are it connected basically we have the same thing here and we can list some databases here and for sure we don't have any other custom databases created yet but we have default one also um, we can like create database let's say like this and do l now we can see our database named test also if you don't want to go inside the psql tool you can quit and run it using the command as whole so you don't need to run two commands separately you could use one command like psql and pass the minus c parameter which tells your psql what it should do uh, it will do pretty much the same thing if we do this one again and we will use database here we are it, is, it has created the database as well as we could drop the database for sure We don't have that anymore. We can connect to some database using uh, slash c and db name test tool. Boom. Yeah, we are con now connected to database test tool as user root, and we can, for example, list all table. But we don't have any tables yet, so. We can actually create those using the same command but we don't want to do this and actually you could you could, this is like basically you can do your selects here the deletes here and stuff like this but i'm not gonna do this it's not the part of this thing okay so another thing i would like to show you the most common thing is doing backups because whatever project you you have you always would like to ensure your data is persisted and whenever your server is going down somewhere like disaster whatever is happening you don't lose your data so you're doing regular backups for sure and what is the way of doing this inside the postgres especially using the command line because most usually you will use some linux based uh, server where you don't have any ui and stuff like this and you would like to use some scripts on top of that to do the backups uh, so you need actually the command line for this how we can do this so uh, we can go out of our docker and as you can see i'm in my windows right now not inside the docker container and we can do just like this pg dump command boom boom run it but as you remember test does not exist we have our test tool database so run this here we are we have our okay let me just have a card here oh we don't have yeah okay it creates dump sql here you are it actually it is actually a dump of our test tool database it already has some data because it has like default tables and stuff like this and now what we can do with this dump file you could restore it inside some other postgres instance let's say we have some another postgres host name with name postgres2 
Okay, so I've I've created another Postgres instance. This is the power of Docker. You could just do it like one command with different port mapped from external world to the PSQL itself. So as you remember, we have our dump SQL here, right? And we would like to restore this dump inside another instance, inside another database, for example, what we can do. So we're just copying, we just copying our dump SQL inside a particular container container name and inside a particular folder like this. In our case, it's like the root folder and name called dump SQL. If we do uh, go inside the Docker container right now, we can see the dump file here. And from this point, you can just create your database, what you want to restore basically. Already exists. Oh yeah, that's because I'm using the same volume, but okay, let's name it test three, for example. Okay, and we can restore our database test two using our dump SQL that came from previous instance, just like this. Boom. Yeah, it sets everything and now we have the same data in test 3 that was in our previous Postgres instance. Basically, this is the way how am I doing the regular backups and uh, I test basically it does the backup and restore uh, good. And you can go and see how am I doing this inside a regular Postgres backup to email and telegram channel. This is the article that that explains how am I sending my dump to email and telegram channel both like regularly once a day uh, for now I think that's pretty much enough I'm alive I have uh, plenty of stuff to do I have a lot of plans for my especially tech blog and YouTube channel for sure uh, talking about the news I'm changing the project inside the Microsoft after eight months working for it I will talk about this as well, maybe. And for now, that's it. Thank you for your attention and see you guys. Bye.